Hey there, how are you doing team Nokia Power user here and we welcome you all to yet another Nokia 6 video. In this interesting video, we will demo how to configure the fingerprint sensor on Nokia 6 and we will also find out whether this fingerprint sensor is fast enough so that you can use it in your daily uh, routine. So uh, for your info, the Nokia 6 fingerprint sensor is this here embedded to the home button. So, but you have to configure it. Without configuring, you would not be able to use. So, we will check both. <clears throat> so, here when you lock it, you can just use the fingerprint sensor to unlock. So, let's quickly find out how to configure it. So, what we will do, we will take you to the settings. From settings, you go to security. Here, <clears throat> you have this uh, device security option where you where it says screen lock none. Then it's, there is fingerprint. So, we will tap on the fingerprint. Now set up screen lock. So there are three options basically. Fingerprint plus pattern, fingerprint plus pin, and fingerprint plus password. So whatever option suits you, you can actually choose and use. So <clears throat> I will go for let's say pattern. So if it says require pattern to start device, so what happens that either you can use the fingerprint sensor after configuring it, or if <clears throat> you don't want to use fingerprint sensor, then you have to uh, check a pattern. So that is one option which I just chose. So you can either choose a fingerprint plus pin as well. So either you use a fingerprint sensor or a pin. So here I will go for the pattern just trying to show it to you. Now I will just uh, draw a pattern. So let's quickly draw a simple one. Continue. I have to confirm. So I will confirm that this is done. And then uh, what do you want to see on the locked screen? So show all notification content. I can do that. <clears throat> now add fingerprint. So this is where you add your fingerprint. So you put on add fingerprint, continue, and then you have to start. So you have to uh, put your thumb impression on the fingerprint sensor so that the device reads it and remembers it. So put your thumb, the upper part, and now it says that move your finger slightly to add all the different parts of fingerprint. So now since I've already added the thumbs upper part, I'll move it a slight. So now it's able to take uh, the middle part of my thumb, the impression of it. Now it says that I have to use my edge. So let's do that. So all you need to do is to put different parts of your thumb on this fingerprint sensor. And when you put it, you have to put it for like one moment. So I put it here. So then I have to change it to this side. Now it says that it has been added. So I was able to add the fingerprint of my thumb. Done. So this is one I can add, uh, I mean, one more. It gives me an option to do that. So maybe I will add a uh, thumb of my left hand as well. Let's say, let's do uh, so that you, you understand it properly. So now again, the same thing. I will put my thumb here. Then I'll put my other part or like I'll slightly move my thumb so that I add other part of the thumb only. So now it says I have to again move it. And as I said, when you keep it here, you have to make it sure that it moves. So you put your thumb here and see it moving. If it does not move, then there is no point. I mean, your, your touch was not accepted kind of. So I put in my put the thumb here and I see that it goes to 70%. I'll put a slightly different side. It goes to 80. I'll put the edge of the thumb here. It goes to 85. I'll put the left edge of the thumb. Then it goes 90. The right edge of the thumb goes 95. And maybe all of it. So 100%. So I added uh, both thumbs, the right and the left. And hope it, you have like it will help you when you do it for yourself. Now I have added uh, thumbs of both from both the fingers so i'll choose one from the right finger so finger one i'll do okay and it is now 
accepted so <clears throat> what we can do now we can try to lock it and see whether it works or not okay so let's lock it it's a good test to see how quickly can it open or unlock it uh, unlocks it in a ziffy so very very fast actually so lock unlock lock unlock so for just testing if i'm not using my uh, fingerprint sensor the what is chance so just you have to do a pattern and it will get unlocked so uh, as you saw the option is that you will have to configure your fingerprint sensor with one of the fallback options so here i have chosen the fallback option to be the pattern so just to quickly demo it again this is how fast it is really fast quite fast actually so with the right thumb i configured both the thumbs so this is with the right thumb this is with the left thumb equally fast And if you don't want to use the fingerprint sensor, you want to unlock, you will have to use the fallback option. This is wrong pattern. So this is how it works. This is how you can configure the fingerprint sensor on Nokia 6. And you just saw how fast it is, really, really fast. So you can really use it as a unlocking, default unlocking option for yourself. So thanks for watching. Hope you have liked this video and you would found you would find it useful. So stay tuned to Nokia Polish for more Nokia 6 videos. Thanks for watching.